Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Samad Fanta from Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, from Department of Aerospace Engineering. Uh, I'm going to present uh, an oral presentation on Research Student Convention with the title of Low Velocity Impact Analysis on Laminate Composite Structure Using Damage Meso Modular Approach. And my paper um, uh, code is SRC 2102 uh, 6. So the presentation outline is as follow Introduction, Source and Impact and this Damage on Laminate Structure, Damage Meso Modeling Approach and Composite. Uh, low velocity impact problem definition, result and the discussion and conclusion. Introduction. So composite materials are a material system which composed of two or more uh, physically uh, distinct phase of materials, which is combined uh, together to form, uh, to yield or to produce improved aggregate properties that are uh, different from the parental uh, constituent materials. Materials are the matrix. It consists of two phases of material, mainly two phases, the matrix phase and the reinforcing phase. The matrix and the reinforcement phase together, uh, uh, physically distinct phases combined together. Uh, it is not chemically react, but it is uh, uh, combine to produce other material, which is called composite. Uh, so these composites are prepared in laminate form and the laminates are prepared by stacking a number of uh, composite layers together. And the composite laminates are made from continuous fiber and polymer matrix used for primary uh, load carrying structure in aerospace industry due to their stiffness, <coughs> the high stiffness uh, and the strengths and fatigue resistance, corrosion resistance and were exposed to harsh environmental condition. So this such laminate structure made of advanced composite material continue to be, uh, 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 to be of great interest for engineering application. These engineered materials are usually orthotropic in nature and quite often, show very unique response under uh, loading condition and different geometric situation. A different uh, source of uh, loadings or uh, impact sources are there. Among them are uh, the foreign object impact, such as runway debris, bird destroy, um, tool drop, accidental tool drop in the maintenance site. And so these are the source of, uh, uh, and these impact sources produce very visible impact damage that happen inside of the composite. And that could lead to a sudden failure due to uh, stiffness and strength degradation of the material, and which is undetectable with the uh, uh, bay rays. So this impact behavior of material become very a, a serious uh, issue of the safety assessment of aircraft. So some of the impact induced damage include fiber fractures, matrix crack, uh, fiber matrix debonding, which are classified into interlaminar, intralaminar damage modes. And another is the delamination or separation of two layers, uh, adjacent layers, which is called interlaminar damage modes. So the two damage modes, which are formed, developed and interacted in a complicated pattern uh, internally, which becomes difficult to detect non-destructively. Damage modeling approach, uh, some of them are, uh, many uh, people use different approaches, theory of laminate structure approach, failure criteria approach, damage mechanics approach and damage meso model approaches are some of the approach. So uh, there are also other approaches. So now we give emphasis for the DML approach. Uh, this DML approach, uh, which is initially uh, uh, predicted or initially proposed by La Ladves and Alex, uh, in 19, uh, in the uh, 1992s, 
and then further progressed. So in this approach, each composite laminas has been represented as a structure consisting of alternating layers of laminate and the uh, finite thickness cohesive interface. So by doing that, we can uncouple the description of behavior of two physically distinct components of laminate, that is the lamina and the interface. So here we can see uh, there is an interface in between two plies, for example, for five degree ply and the zero degree ply. And then the interface will uh, be an acting which help us the transfer of uh, load and the displacement in between. So uh, that the material uh, content discontinuity will take place at that point. So this is the interface, this is the uh, the abacus model uh, laminates. Okay. So this work is aimed to connect the mechanics, micro mechanics, and meso mechanics of the laminate structure. Okay. So in this model, we consider two meso constituents: the laminate and the interface. The model, uh, this material model for meso constituents, defined using a user defined material subroutine in ViewMat, and is implemented in abacus explicit finite level tool. The model predicts the damage in mesoconstituent accurately and considered the most effective technique for modeling low velocity impact problem. Dynamic uh, damage kinematic of uh, elementary play or lamina. So the damage uh, elastic strain energy, which is defined in terms of sigma one, uh, sigma two, and uh, sigma one two and sigma one three, okay, uh, which are represented with the uh, degradation or the damage variables d two and d six. Here we can see d two and d six only, which are the damage variables. The damage elastic law uh, based on the Hooke's law, which is uh, represented like this, and uh, uh, the associated thermodynamic force. Here, what we are applying is the damage can be uh, represented with the help of thermodynamic forces. Okay, so the two damage variables are defined in as uh, the damage uh, uh, associated thermodynamic force, Y2, which is equal to uh, partial differential of uh, this equation one over the damage variable D2. And for Y6 also, we can uh, apply the same logic. For with respect to D6. Damage coupling will be accompanied with the help of uh, a coupling parameter, which is called the material uh, carpeting parameter B. And also, we can define D6 and the D2 that damage evolution laws for the damage variable have been modeled at this. Okay, for one to Y2 and Y2. Uh, compression, otherwise D6 is equal to one. Okay, uh, the model also distinguishes two uh, ply degradation mechanisms: matrix micro cracking and fiber matrix debonding. Here, the constitutive question for the play in 3D is given uh, in this formula. Uh, this contains the uh, normal stress components. And the third, uh, this the second part contains the uh, shear component. Okay, so fiber rupture is modeled with this equation, that equation number six, the associated thermodynamics force for fiber ruptures. The fiber, okay. The damage meso model for interface is also uh, defined in terms of uh, once, please, please once. Ludwig and Alex proposed a model for uh, interface as 2D components, which is represented in this model, okay? So the interface is taken to be orthotropic uh, or two adjacent layer. So the direction of orthotropy of the interface is represented with N1, N2, and N3, okay? So uh, the constitutive law for interface, which relates the displacement jump between the layers to us uh, stress developing the interface is given with uh, this equation. Yeah, so 
the constructed equation for interface in terms of the damage strain uh, density uh, is uh, this equation, which is uh, in terms of normal stress sigma 3, 3, uh, shear stress 1, 3, and the 2, 3. So, and the damage variables that associated with this D3, uh, D1, and the D2. And the damage strain release rate for the mood of uh, is formulated with this equation. To ensure the coupling of uh, damage mechanisms, which couple thermodynamic force, um, damage force uh, is given with this equation. Just a small moment. Uh, wait for some of them. Okay, so the problem defined uh, definition for modeling low velocity impact. So we use quarter model to uh, make the use of the advantage of symmetry and ge the geometric symmetry and the uh, boundary symmetry. So which is uh, 62.5 by this is the dimensions and this is the stacking sequence. Okay. So uh, the velocity is taken to be 2.5 and the mass of impactor is this. So the final uh, energy of impact is 10 joule, uh, which is uh, uh, represented here. This is impactor and the language. So this is the material. Okay, so material for unidirectional lamina or for play and the material for the interface is given in this table, table one and the two. This is the symmetry, that y symmetry and x symmetry. And this is the pin boundary condition. Uh, this is uh, regions of coarse mesh, and this is region of fine mesh. Okay, So uh, these are the modeling approach. Finally, we obtain this uh, result. This is uh, a degradation and transverse model, that is matrix uh, degradation or matrix damage. This is degradation of matrix due to a shear effect. And this is uh, the fiber damage, okay? Degradation of longitudinal modulus or uh, the modulus in the fiber direction. And the thermodynamic force, which I shall say it, uh, D2 with D1, which is represented in this model. And so uh, this is uh, all about. And when we conclude, Avaka's explicit FM tool is used in modeling dynamic impact loading condition, user-defined material uh, code were developed and implemented in Avaka's. The DML proposed here is able to compute the intensity of damage mechanism inside both the place and the interface at any, at any time until the final fracture. The concept of thermodynamic reversibility is applied to model the damage initiation and the uh, mechanism of lambda. Simulations have shown interlaminar damage initiation, population, and uh, interlaminar interface. Comparison will be made, uh, and the results have been proved to be very satisfactory. This is the reference. And thank you very much. If you have any question, you are welcome. Okay.